Hey, hey, Joan here. Welcome back to this week's musing. Let's see what the energy of September 17, 18, and 19 will be. I'm going to be using today Yasmin Boland's Manifestation Oracle Cards. And I've been using this deck for several years since it came out. And why I decided to use this deck today, it's a full moon. It's an eclipse. It's in the sign of Pisces. So why is that important? Well, first, let me show you the card. So you get a kind of a sense of it. We have two koi, they're stylized, but two koi fish stylized for the full moon in Pisces. Pisces is a water sign. And when I think of water, I think of emotions. And at full moons, it's always, it's like a culmination. So it's, I think of full moons, I keep it really simple. I think of full moons as endings and I think of new moons as beginnings. And that's, and it's really cool. Uh, Triana, Ilan, and I started doing a podcast that we're calling, let's see, Moon Myth and Magic. So if that's interesting. You can just browse below. When I figure out how to do this, I'll learn how to post that. I'm not that skilled yet with all of this. But we just did one, a, a forecast on what's going on with this particular full moon and how it affects you and what are some of the things that you can learn and how are you being supported or challenged. So I wanted to just go and just do a simple reading for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, that can filled with positivity and good energy and high vibe. So it's a, a quick reading where you can come each week and, and fill up anytime you think you might need to, a little extra boost. <clears throat> so for Tuesday, the card, or actually let's do it a little different. I'm going to say our overall theme is forgiveness because at this time, um, um, and I did a shared a blessing on that uh, other podcast, um, Moon Myth and Magic. There's a lovely blessing in there for forgiveness. And uh, one of the things that I didn't really learn about forgiveness, I sort of grew up in a household where you needed to be on your best behavior and not do things that caused frustration and pain to your parents. <laughs> so I really didn't learn about apologizing because I just got punished whenever I, I did things. So forgiveness is something I've been learning. And oh my gosh, is it a great teacher. And learning how to say I'm sorry and just have that be a quick response just tune in to yourself. Is this something that you happen to be really good at is saying, I'm sorry. And being the first one to say it and to look for that common ground. I find it's something I'm learning and practicing and learning into it. Learning into it. Okay. And I, my thinking is I get better all the time. I'm 71 now. So who knows when I'm really going to get good at forgiveness, maybe on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just kind of, it's a focal point. So why don't you pick a number, one, two, or three? What feels good? <clears throat> so if you pick number, card number one, here's your card for number one. Uh -huh, hold on, I got the deck upside down. I don't believe in upside down cards. In this deck, it doesn't make any sense. There's no reverse order. Focus on the positive. So for Tuesday's energy, 
It's focus on the positive. And the number of you picked of one, two, or three, some things that's going to really honor you and nurture and help you feel grounded and centered is when you focus on the positive. So now let's look at Wednesday's energy or the number two. If you happen to pick a number two, I'm thinking of you as I shuffle. That. So it's just sort of like checking in. If you pick number two, here's your card. Talk less, feel more. Beautiful. Love that. And whatever these cards are, I need all of them. That's such wonderful guidance to just sort of check in. My thinking is it's giving yourself a hug. So you can think you're being honored for these qualities and maybe challenged to tune up the energy dial on them a little more and see how that might support you. So how about if you pick number three? Hold on. If you pick number three, go for it. So when I look at this story, because how I, cards to me, are teaching me about myself. It's shining light on the path. And that's what I love about the full moon. As my friend Deb Madrid would say, flashlight in the sky. You know, what is being highlighted? You've got the biggest light. And as Triana reminds us, you know, step outside if you can today, if you happen to watch this Tuesday. And just remember to look up at the night sky. And whatever needs to be highlighted for you is what's coming up. So that's what I love the moon as my teacher. And the moon's all about emotions. So I'm looking at, okay, forgiving myself and forgiving oopses or mistakes of a lifetime. It could be of a moment. It's just letting that go. Okay, so what's a really simple way to do that? Maybe just put a hand on your heart. Close your eyes for a moment. And just notice what you notice. One of my favorite things is when I close my eyes, my breathing starts to slow down because the way I choose to meditate is with my eyes closed. And, and forgiveness, I find, can be really tricky. So I think it starts with the love. So we're just noticing our breath. And what if you just, on the out breath, imagine letting go very gently of anything that's no longer useful? Ah, oh, make it easy, make it gentle. Breathing in through your nose. And when you're ready, breathing out your mouth. And you can just think of that's a simple way of Sort of like connecting your out breath with the idea of letting go because you're letting your breath go. And with forgiveness, you're letting any thoughts or situations. Ah, it helps me sort of loosen up and lighten up. And then just notice if that feels good. And then just allow yourself to smile. And just honor yourself for how long you've already lived and all the magic you've created with yourself and with loved ones. 
the person who you are, let's honor that person. And when you're ready, open your eyes. So this reading today began with forgiveness. And then you may have a really busy schedule and you may have a big dream. You might have something to do with your career or your family, relationships, creativity. It could be anything. So what's going to help us on the path? Focus on the positive. Talk less, feel more, and go for it. I always like to pick a wild card. Let's see what she is. Work through your feelings. So if you pick card number one, focus on the positive. If you pick card number two, talk less, feel more. Or maybe you like feel more, talk less. See how that feels. And then if you pick number three, let's go for it. And when this soup gets all mixed together, we're being guided to work through our emotions. And we're having this big, big, big moon and it's a partial eclipse. So it's kind of, think of it like kind of an exclamation part an exclamation mark that's highlighted. So it's a powerful time to just look at how am I feeling? I love it. So for Monday, no, excuse me, for Tuesday the 17th, focus on the positive. For Wednesday the 18th, talk less, feel more. Feel more, talk less. Thursday this week, go for it. And that's if you happen to pick number three. And so the here's the overall story for this week. Work through your feelings. How do you do that? By just going for it. And when that happens, you may find it helpful to feel more and talk less and focus on the positive. And that will bring you the added juice for this week. So thank you so much for stopping by. Appreciate you being here. And if you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you. I am so grateful for you to be here. And if you have any comments or you want me to know anything, feel free to leave a comment below. When I've can figure out how to find those. I'm getting better. Um, I promise I will respond to that. Otherwise, in the copy is my email, joan at mountaintopmusings.com. I'm really good at that. <laughs> Just learning how to respond on YouTube is new for me. Um, <clears throat> and I'll be back next Tuesday. So I so enjoyed doing this last week and I got such positive feedback. So Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, I'm going to do these little energy boosts. <clears throat> and why midweek? Well, in my newsletter, I offer a blessing on Monday and stress-relieving tips and energizing techniques on Friday. So I kept thinking that something was missing was Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So now I've got it covered Monday through Friday. <clears throat> it's interesting. This is all coming up. So there's a lot about communication going on because somebody who works with energy, a lot's coming up. So I want this to be a real clearing and gentle and high vibration practice for you. So if I'm clearing my throat or something, it's just me picking up on kind of the universal energy of what's needed and how I can honor and support each of us on our journey forward. So take good care, have a beautiful week. And if you like this, share it with a friend. That would be awesome. And if you'd like to know when these are being uh, shared, click the button below for the subscribe. And here's the secret part. If you happen to click that button, what it means for liking it, for example, 
That just means that YouTube will share it with more people. And if you find that this energy work is helpful and you think someone else besides yourself might appreciate it, click that button and who knows, it will go out there and it'll be helpful for someone else. So thanks again. Bye for now and have a beautiful week. <clears throat>